Hey y'all, this is Zach with Mills Under Pressure. All right, we don't normally do product reviews, but this one intrigues me. So I wanted to do one on this today. All right, so this is a swamp bucket. Came from Louisiana, my wife ordered it for him on my birthday. You can get them at swampbuckets.com. And it's for boiling shrimp or crabs or crawfish. Um, kind of Cajun engineering. Um, this is a heavy duty five gallon bucket. It's got a heavy duty lid with a O-ring around it for sealing it. I, I pulled off the label and it kind of stuck. I need to get rid of that. So, so you, can, you can seal it down. Now it's got a it's got a heating element in it. So that's what that's what boils the water. So it says you can boil up to ten pounds. So I've got about almost three pounds, two and a half three pounds of shrimp tonight. And I've got some some you know vegetables that we normally put in a shrimp bowl. Um, you put the sausage in there too? I put sausage, yeah. I definitely got the sausage to go in there. Okay. Uh, this is the minimum fill line for the water. Um, I think that's about two gallons for some of the other uh, reviews that I've read and watched. I'll probably put a little bit more in it, but it, real simple. Uh, add your water, plug it in, add your seasonings, add your vegetables, add your shrimp. So that's what we're going to try tonight. Uh, and some advantages I see in this, if it works, is, you know, when I only have about four or five pounds of shrimp. I don't feel like getting out my burner or my propane tank and make sure I got gas. So I can just plug this in and, and boom, we're, we're bowling. And so, you can do it outside. And you can do it outside. Yeah. I definitely don't want to do it inside. Um, and then after you finish boiling, got these little holes right there to pour out the, to pour out the, uh, the water. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to put some water in here and then we're going to plug in and we're going to see how much, uh, or see how long it takes to, to heat up. So see all of you. All right, so it took about 40 minutes to come to a rolling bowl, and I made sure that I put the lid on tight because if you come, if you do it without the lid on, it's gonna take a lot longer. So 40 minutes, a little bit longer than I like, but not too bad. So I've got my Saki Mama seafood bowl that's going in there. I've got some of this concentrated liquid saturated liquid crab bowl. That's going in there. I will say this: when you go to open it up, you go to unscrew that. Use this because that, that top is hot. So put it back on. Now I'm gonna go get my veggies. We'll be back. Alright, I got my red potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. I'm trying to do them on the side if I don't, you know, try to avoid dropping them right on that camera. Uh, the directions on the back of this say cook the potatoes for five minutes in this, but I don't know. We normally cook them for about 20, so. We'll see. I'll check in the five. Uh, I'm going to put the top back on to keep the, the bowl going. And then in a little bit we'll add the rest of our, uh, the rest of our vegetables. So, thank you. Alright, so we let our potatoes go about 15 minutes, which is what we normally do, 15 to 20 minutes. So they went 15 minutes. Now we're going to add our mushroom. You've got to have mushroom. You got that sausage. I've got a pound of Koneka and I've got another pound of this. I can't pronounce it, it's from, it's from New Orleans. It's a sausage with some green onions to mix in it really good. So that's going in there. Now normally, when I do a shrimp bowl, I add lemon, I add garlic, I add onion, and I add uh, corn. But since we're, this is just really just a product review, this is just what I'm adding. So these are gonna go five minutes. Put my lid on. These will go five minutes, then I'll be back with my shrimp. All right, so we got about two and a half pounds of shrimp. The sausage and the, the mushrooms been cooking for five minutes. Shrimp going in. Two minutes. That's critical. Two minutes. What time is it? I'm not sure. Lauren? 7.54. 754. All right. 756, we're going to unplug this thing. So these cook for two minutes, and that's it. All right, so. In two minutes, we're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna find out how our, uh, our swamp bucket works. So we'll see you on two minutes. All right. So two minutes exactly on the shrimp, and then we unplugged it, and you can take it outside with the, with the lid on. It's got those little drain holes. Uh, take it outside and dump the water um, to stop the boiling process. All right. So everything came out absolutely perfect. 
So I'll review um, the new, our new swamp bucket. Um, shelf's perfect. It worked perfect. The only thing I can say, it took a little bit longer than I would like on bringing the water to a bowl, but that's that's not that big of a deal. That That's the least of my concerns. It's so, a bucket. <laughs> it's a bucket, yeah. So um, again, you can you can do this in, in a, a place where you can't use propane or a burner. Um, this is great for if you have like, you know, a small amount of shrimp up to, you know, 10 pounds of, of shrimp in this. So um, I'm gonna give this, this swamp bucket a thumbs up. I mean, this is a- So did I do good? That, this was a good purchase. This was a good purchase. Everything came out great. Um, so whoever came up with this idea, good job. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna continue to use it. See y'all next time.